Hey Virgo, welcome to your, I almost said January, February 8th to 14th reading. We're heading into Valentine's Day. Um, I was thinking about doing like love readings this week, but honestly, like most people, Valentine's Days aren't the best. So I decided to just keep it regular. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Keep it regular. See what's going on this week. All right. No flyer cards. No big deal. This is so funny. I don't know. I just got, I literally just had a vision of you, Virgo. And, um, yeah. I feel like this week is going to be a week of asking questions. And I know that is, it's a little different. Haven't really, I don't know that I've ever talked about something like this before in one of these readings, but, um, you're like an inquisitive child. You know, like when a kid goes through the phase of like, just being like, why, why? but why um that's kind of like you this week but in a good way there's nothing you need to be apologetic for um i feel like you have questions about certain things going on in your life it could be your love life it could also have to do with work um but you're asking the questions and the funny thing is, is like, yeah, like some people will get annoyed or pissy or might start fighting with you or whatever. Uh, but you got to be true to yourself. So yeah, let's see here. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. Like I just, there's, okay, let's, let's get, let's get to it here. So I do feel like there's something in your life right now where you feel like something's missing, uh, which is literally the definition of this card. So, um, if you see here, the eight of cups, there's cups, there's a row of cups down here and then a row of cups up here and there's one missing and there's a person like walking away in the background um, and literally there's something about something going on in your life. It, it honestly, it can have to do with literally anything, anything you're going through right now, but you feel like something's missing and you're just about ready to walk away from it. And, um, and this is where I feel like this questioning thing comes from, like the Page of Swords is very inquisitive. He can sometimes also be a super shit disturber, but I'm not getting that energy right now. I just feel like you have, you just want some questions answered so you can make a decision. So go with it. Keep doing what you're doing. Ask your fucking questions. You have every right to ask. And then you can make your decision uh, more clearly. Um, I almost feel like too, like... It's almost like you're sticking up for yourself. Um, it's like this questioning thing is just pissing people off. I don't know. I, I it's This is very strange. This is a very strange message to come up in like a general reading for Virgo. I like, it just seems so specific, but it's like, that's how I'm feeling. Just do what you gotta do. Ask what questions you gotta ask so you can sleep at night. That's all you gotta do. And then you can make a clear decision. 
Uh, the world card is crowning everything here. So just know the universe has your back. Everything's happening for a reason and everything's going to be okay. At the end of whatever is going on, I do see things going your way. We have the justice card coming up and um, it's coming up right next to that card that has to do with either fighting off competition or standing up for yourself, proving yourself. So things are going to go your way. If this doesn't fucking make sense to you, just take away from this that, um, I don't know, I just feel like things will go your way. If you're trying to prove yourself, if there's competition to beat out, things are gonna go your way. And I think there's probably a bunch of you going through some shit right now and you just want some answers because something, something's off. Something is off, okay? Um, I think also I'm getting a lot of family vibes here. I'm getting a lot of family vibes here. Um... I don't know, there might be also some stuff going on with your family. So, um, nothing like terrible, sorry. I'm like pausing and, and making it really dramatic here. Um, I just, I think your, your family might need attention this week. I feel like, um, I almost feel like for those of you with kids, Again, another very specific message, but I feel like the patriarchy, like the, the, like whoever dad is, like, I don't know, I feel like the, the father figure in the family, there's something going on. Like there's just, um, you could be just fighting with your husband. It could be maybe, maybe your kids are rebelling against your the dad something to do with the father figure in the family is going on again don't be freaked out nothing crazy is gonna happen but i just feel like your kids are gonna need some extra attention this is fucked like i honestly these messages i'm getting i feel like i'm having or i'm doing a reading one-on-one -on -one with someone so I feel like there's someone watching this that is probably like, holy shit, this makes total sense. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, but all good. In the grand scheme of things, though, everything does look really good. You have put in the work so you know how to deal with like when there's a blip in the matrix and there's shit going on, you're fine. Um, I really feel like I've probably mentioned this a bunch of times, but I really feel like a new cycle is about to start. And you've had a lot. You've had a lot of new cycles. It's like cycle after cycle after cycle, but that's good. I mean, you're kind of working through some karmic shit, I feel like. Um, and this week is just, this week is a little like, you're just getting, you're cleaning up this week, I feel like. It's like, you're like, okay, hold on a second. Well, I'm, I'm going to stop for a second and see what the fuck is going on. What's going on with my kid? What's going on with my family? What's going on with my partner? This doesn't make sense to me. It's like you're taking a moment to just like clean up. It's like clean up day. You got to get this shit figured out. Also, I mean, I've been mentioning this in most of the videos. We are in Mercury retrograde which this is definitely like this is a time to be cleaning out your closet so to speak or your life closet you know uh it's about doing the inner work um you have to be very careful when signing contracts and stuff right now so um yeah um but all in all, I mean, you're protected, you're very lucky. And lucky isn't, here's the thing, luck is when um, opportunity meets being prepared. That's why you're lucky. It's because you've done the fucking work. But you are, you, you've got the luck card coming in here. Don't get overwhelmed with anything. You'll be just fine. It's going to be okay. And yeah. 
So Virgo, that is your reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you're interested in a love or career reading, I do have February love and career readings available. The links are in the description of this video. So anyways, have a good week, behave, be good, and everything is going to be awesome. Um, I will see you next week, Virgo. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. My clicker's not working. I said bye. Fucker. Oh, you little...